we have three different teams, and this is the East Coast Hitch, and we predominantly travel the um, eastern third of the United States. To be a Budweiser Clydesdale, there's some basic requirements you need. Uh, you have to be a gelding, at least four years old, stand 18 hands tall, be bay in color, with four white stocking legs, white forehead blaze, and a black mane and tail. The temperament's actually really important. We need to have nice, friendly horses that enjoy their jobs and that are um, not bothered by traffic and all the kinds of craziness we could encounter on the road. We also travel with a Dalmatian. His name is Barley. Um, the Dalmatian is basically our mascot. We've had him since the 1950s. And um, back in the old days when we actually used to really deliver beer with the horses, uh, he would actually guard the beer while the drivers went inside to make their deliveries. Now he just hangs out with us and rides, rides shotgun in the parades everywhere we go. The University of Tennessee has been um, our main veterinarian here uh, for a long time. And uh, we get the privilege of working with you guys. Currently, Steve Adair provides consulting work for us and comes to see us several times a year and makes sure that everything is in great shape because we're really committed to the health and welfare of our horses. So they have to be in tip-top shape to be able to perform and be able to travel as much as they do. It's been a really fun experience. We really enjoyed staying here at UT. Well, back in 1981, <clears throat> the uh, Budweiser Corporation was looking for a health program for the Clydesdales. And so Dr. Dennis Geyser and I made a program out and sent it into the company. And it happened to be the one that the company chose. And so we've been doing them ever since 1981. When 2,000 pounds of that walks past you and you look up, it's impressive can't keep from being. And uh, when you put eight of them together, you know, it's quite impressive. It's easy to look at those commercials and see them go by in our 30 seconds, you know, but you don't realize the, the hours that it took to get to that point. I'm their herd health consultant uh, for Clydesdale Operations, and they, uh, as part of my job, uh, I help them develop their herd health plan for all, all of them, not including just the hitch geldings, but their, their babies coming up, their youngsters in training, uh, and their brood breeding farm. Uh, after that, uh, I go around twice yearly to each hitch and uh, evaluate, just give them physical exams, kind of a biannual physical exam. Uh, and then I go and evaluate all the youngsters too that are growing up and plus those that are in the training facility in Merrimack, New Hampshire. Probably the biggest thing we have to deal with is watching their weight. Uh, you know, we don't want them to get too fat. Uh, we want them to stay in good shape. Uh, certainly feed issues, you know, can be a problem. Uh, dealing because of the, uh, uh, you know, the pounding. Uh, that they do. They have to be uh, in good shape in order to, uh, to accomplish their job on a day-to-day -day basis. And they'll hitch up, you know, it's like here, they hitched up four straight days in a row. Uh, they do have a couple of horses that they can swap around, alternate in to give uh, other horses rest. But for the most part, when they hitch up, they're hitching every single day. And so it's a, it's a big ordeal. It's a, it's a lot, of, it takes a lot of strength. It's, it's been a pleasure having them here all week. Uh, it's fun. Uh, the East Coast Hitch is a, is a great group. Uh, very professional, represent uh, uh, Budweiser and Clydesdale operations extremely well. It, it's just been fun having them around. We've, we've uh, enjoyed looking at the horses and having people come by and visit. And so it's, uh, it's something that hadn't happened in East Tennessee in a while. So uh, it certainly made the public more aware of, of what we do here uh, at the university. I think it's certainly showcased our facility quite nicely. Uh, and uh, just to be associated with them uh, is, uh, it, it's, it's, it's a good thing to be able to recognize horses that I've actually worked on uh, in the commercials is, uh, is nice. It's just like when I was at the breeding farm here a few months ago, uh, I got to see Hope, which was the uh, filly that was born uh, three or four years ago and was a star of the commercial. And she was pregnant and fixing to have her first baby. 
And so, you know, and I'm sitting there going, well, this is Hope, you know, she was in the commercial and got to be named. And so it was, uh, it's pretty special.